I wonder where... I mean, Mir was supposed to be... I wonder like if... Someone's... I wonder if Mir's... I mean, where even is a Mir? I, 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 yeah, he was at his little, to miss. his little shop. I mean, yeah, he wasn't there, but like... Is Strahd working tonight? No, he said he'd be around to annoy me or something. Hmm. Now, oh, so he's not... I don't know, then maybe Amir's mm. trying to find him. Hmm. Strahd probably doesn't want that. I don't see any friend... like, I don't see any of them. Huh. Huh? It's a nice night out. Was... You guys gotta oh, come like down or not? Night. I mean, we can, Um, but I'm trying to think, like, where Mir- I mean, how- Okay. Since the matchmaker thing, did, did Strahd actually, like, ever say anything to Amir? Like, straight up? He got him a gift. Gift? What sort of I'm gift? Under... A rock. Mir Ooh. likes those, apparently. It was actually kind of cute, but I don't know. Straw doesn't seem very enthused about... I didn't... I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off. It's fine. Straw doesn't seem to want to spend the festival with Amir tonight, so... Why not? Haven't they been like kind of like flirting around the subject for about got since we've gotten here? Since I guess so, but it, it's not really my business to share. Yeah, but if it's gone this long, I can't imagine how long it's gone beforehand. It's still not our business. I mean, that's still. someone else's relationship. Yeah, but I mean, Amir's consider I consider Amir a really good friend of mine. And if Strahd's leading him on, then that's something that I would consider kind of not great. I think we should go and find them. So do what? Demand they confess or something? Not oh, not demand per se, because demanding is like, hey, you are both in love with each other. That that isn't romantic, you know. That isn't that isn't something that would be great for anyone, actually, but, I mean, just push them in the right direction, I think. And what if Have pushing them that. is exactly what's hurting them? I think the latter- I think them oh, well. not being pushed is actually the issue. Really? Well, one, I think Amir is too um, polite to actually say something, and then I think Strahd is just too much of, um, what's the word? He's too scared to actually say something. Uh. So... Well, then maybe some advice to Amir on, hey, oh, wow. would be the better call, because I just don't... That just sounds like manipulation. It's it's not manipulation. It's it it's it's persuasion, I think. And what's the difference in this hey, Marge, case? We own if you persuade them towards doing that, you're um, simply moving well, them around until you get the desire or the result later. that you desire. Um, yeah, but the, okay. the, the result uh, is something uh, that they both um, want. Bye. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh. Oh no. This was supposed to be a good night and now everyone's fighting and upset. Oh, there's pretty lights though. And now I have to go the long way around. Oh my god, there's a clown. Oh, just don't look at it. Don't look at it. <laughs> Uh, and I lost Paz. Awesome. I guess we'll meet up at the shop. <laughs> oh gosh, what happened? They're fine. <laughs> at least everything looks really pretty. So that's good. Oh wow. What a... it's... you know what? You know what? You can't have a couple bad moments ruin your day. Let's... let's pick... let's pick it up. 
but we're gonna make this day we're gonna make this festival the best festival you've ever seen in your life and it's gonna be great and it's gonna be fun and awesome and uh good times and <laughs> i'm just with <laughs> I, do, I wish I didn't have to go the long way, but I did not want to deal with those two in the way of my path. <sighs> At least it's pretty. A nice scenic route. I have nothing to say. Ugh. I'm too, like, I guess, drained to speak. Oh my god, how big is this place? Pat, pat. I feel like I've been walking for, like, hours. There we go. We made it to the other side. Oh, wowee. There's a lot of people. Oh boy. What's up? This is awkward. This is really awkward. This is really awkward. We're gonna... <laughs> uh, you watch... I, hold on, I gotta improvise this dialogue because it was written differently than how it actually went down my brain can't process it. <laughs> uh, fuck. Fudge. Frick. Ah! Roadmap being different from dialogue is making my brain hurt. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Your ears flick towards the direction of, the so of a sound nearby. You look over and see a crowd of people by Leon's shop. You can't help but smile at the sight of, of Leon's shop with a lot of customers. You go closer to the saw and find Leon and Ravi working together. Uh, it reminds you of the charity event with, with them wanting to... The, the, I can't read! <sighs> it's, it's the emotions chat. I was, I've been uh, out of character. I've been very emotional today because of this stream. Just a small spoiler warning. It's very emotional. <laughs> I think you get that though. Starting Would over. Would you want me to read? No, I'm good. What? What? Would you want me to read? I for said them? I'm good. <laughs> okay. You go closer to the stall and find Leon and Ravi working together. It's reminding you of the charity event with them wanting the best stall to maximize profits. Leon is said is selling his normal crystals and jewelry while Ra Ravi provides homemade cookies with every order. You look over and see Dia in front of the saw, assisting her friends in, in handling a wave of customers. She finishes with a couple of people before turning over to you. Oh, hey, Marshy! You enjoying the festival? She says with a smile. Uh, what's going on here? Sunny asks, glancing around at the crowd. Uh, since they worked so well together during the big sale, Ravi and Leon decided to work together again for the festival, Dia says. Ravi made a bunch of cookies and is giving them out with every purchase of one of Leon's fancy jewels. Tuts. That was a very smart move. Tuts says with a smile. I know, I'm genius. I'm a genius, Ravi says with a pompous hair flick. It was my idea, Leon cuts in. Well, you guys do make a good team, and it looks like you're having fun too. No way, Dia turns to you with the with wide, desperate eyes. Marsh, you gotta get me out of here. These two are driving me crazy with business talk. You could have left at any point, you know, Leon says. Uh, yeah, but I don't have anyone to hang out with, and it would have been super awkward, Dia whines. Well, you can join us. 
Oh, thank you, Nini. Dia sighs in relief. She pauses and looks back at Leon and Robbie. You two can handle this chaos, right? Wow, not even an invite? I see how it is, Robbie says, crossing his arms. Do you think we can stop now? Leon snaps. We still have a million customers. You guys totally got this, Dia says as she gives them a thumbs up and backs away from the booth. Yeah, get out of here and go have fun, Leon says. We'll meet up we'll meet up later for fireworks. <gasps> fireworks! Sunny says with excitement. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Dia gives Leon a finger gun. Sweet, we'll see you guys later. Alright. Time to actually enjoy this festival without people being dramatic and depressed. Are they still there? Can we actually go down through the festivities? What do you guys want to do? Hello? Help. Oh. All right. See if they, were over they there. are still there. We're going the long way. Ah, great. You know what? Actually, screw it. Let's I would just push past. No, no, ready? Here's the funny thing. I walked past them. You took the long way around. I'm walking past them. Hi, losers. Bye, losers. Was that mean? That was a little mean. I'm sorry. What are they arguing about? Whatever. Uh, I stopped listening. If they want to argue and not have fun, then that's on them. I'm going to have a grand old time. Actually, let's see what all this, all the booths are. There's honey, honeycombs, uh, books. Okay. That's a flower booth. These flowers are really nice. You and the others continue to walk through the festival, stopping by various booths along the way. August, August and Sunny run off to get some food while you, you, Dia and Taz continue to explore the festivities. You eventually come up to a shop in front of a booth, in front of a booth, and it seems to ca that seems to catch Dia's eye. Hold on, I read that wrong. You eventually come to a stop in front of a booth that seems to catch Dia's eye. The dread lights up and goes towards the front of the booth to get a closer look at what it has to offer. You stand a bit- you stand back a bit and watch, the booth not interesting you as much. You look around the festival for a bit as you wait. You eventually notice someone nearby, someone you haven't seen for a while. <gasps> Alicia! You turn and run over to the girl as she looks back at you. Her surprised expression immediately shifts to joy as she sees you. <gasps> Marshy, it's been a while! She says with a big smile. You enjoying the festival? Uh, yeah, other than the two arguing over there, it's been pretty fun. That's good, Alicia says as she lean leans over to look behind you. Who are you with? Who are you with just now? She cuts herself off suddenly. Uh, is something wrong? Ah! She, <clears throat> she clears her throat and shakes her head. Nothing, I'm fine. You notice her occasionally glance behind you. You follow her gaze and see she's been looking at Dia. You look back at Alicia with a concerned expression. Um, Alicia, you can tell me if something is wrong. Uh, nothing's wrong, I... She pauses and when she sees your somewhat sad look. <sighs> okay, it's... it's Dia. Dia? It's a bit of a long story. She says as she goes to sit down at a nearby table. You, you go to join her, she continues. To make it short, Dee and I dated a while back. Uh, oh, uh, what happened? She hesitates. I realized I wasn't ready for a full-on relationship, so I told her I wanted to break up. She explains. She didn't take it very well and things kind of got worse over time. You notice the pained look in her eyes as the memories come back to her. We were good friends before everything went down. I even told her I wanted to still be friends, but... She trails off, wiping a tear away. Uh, never mind, it's not important. She looks at you with a strained smile. The past is the past, isn't it? We're here to have fun, aren't we? I'm... Have you never tried talking to her about it? 
Alicia's smile fades. No, I never had the chance to, she says. She was always either busy or it seemed like she was avoiding me. She pauses for a moment before continue before continuing. I see her with that angel a lot. She seems really happy with him. She probably already moved on. Wait, Ravi? I think they're just friends as far as I know. Alicia perks up a bit. Wait, really? She says with a hint of surprise in her voice. Uh, but I thought... I mean, yeah, they're, they're just roommates. Alicia flinches. Uh, roommates? She dramatically puts her head down on the table. Oh, my unity, they're roommates! She cries. Wait, that doesn't mean anything, does it? She sits up again and sniffles. I, I guess. She says as she looks at you. Do you think I should talk to her? It would be a good start, at least. She hesitates for a moment before nodding and standing up. Uh, you're right. I should go talk to her right now. That's the spirit. I've got your back if you need it. Dia, where did you go? Dia, Dia, where did she go? Dia, Dia, where did you run off to? Dia, 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 where did she go? Dia. Ah, you and Alicia walk back to the booth you left Dia at. She still seems to be focused on buying the, the vendor's entire stock. So much so, she doesn't even notice you until you tap her shoulder. What? She glances back at you. Oh shoot, were you waiting for me this whole time? Hold on a sec, I- She pauses when she sees Alicia next to you. She suddenly tenses up and drops the thing she was holding back onto the booth's counter. Alicia gives Dia an awkward wave. Hello, Dia. She says. It's- been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> she smiles. Uh, yeah, Tia says. It has. They both go quiet. They both go quiet, allowing the awkwardness to fill the air. Go on. You give Alicia a little nudge. She takes a deep breath and exhales to calm her nerves before looking at Dia. <sighs> Dia, I. And she pauses, struggling to get the words out. I want to be friends again. They both stare at each other for a moment. For a moment that seems to go on for eternity. Alicia seems to be holding her breath. Liz, I... Dia speaks up. I... don't want to be friends. With that single statement, Alicia's entire world shatters. You look over at her as her expression darkens, and she struggles to hold back her tears. Wait, I didn't mean- Dia starts, but Alicia cuts her off. No, it's okay. I'll just go. Alicia turns and walks away. No, Alicia! Dia calls out to her, but she doesn't respond. Instead, she picks up the pace and begins to run, leaving you and Dia behind. Man, why did I say that? Thea scolds herself. I'm so stupid. You didn't mean that, did you? No, I did, but... <sighs> Thea stumbles on her words. I, I, It didn't come out right. I don't want to be friends. I want to be more than that. <gasps> Th then go tell her that! Uh, what's the point? I already screwed up. She probably wants nothing to do with me. That's not true. She wants to be your friend. But I... Dia starts, but once again is interrupted. You know, the first step to a healthy relationship is honesty, August says. You look over to see he... He and the others have returned with food, just in time to hear the ending of your... Your and Dia's conversation. Where did you come from? Dia asks. Dia, is everything okay? You seemed really upset just now. Sunny asks. Hmm, I'll be fine, Dia says as she glances back in the direction Alessia went. She suddenly perks up with an idea and looks at August, or more specifically, the corn dog he's holding. Wait, give me that! Dia snatches the corn dog from him be 
before he even has a chance to process what he, she was doing. Uh, Dia, what? Food is the best way to a woman's heart, Dia says. I need to find Alicia and tell her the truth. Wait, what? Godspeed, Dia. Godspeed. You give Dia a salute as she turns and runs off in the direction Alicia went. You and the others watch her go. What's happening? I have no clue. Um, TLDR. Dia and Alicia used to be in a relationship, then they broke up, and now they're kind of want... It's complicated. Uh, Alicia wants to be friends, Dia wants to be more than that, so now they're kind of just trying to get back together. Maybe, hopefully. You give Sunny and August a brief rundown of the situation, and they both give an oh in response. Well, I hope that goes well for them, August says with a smile. I'm gonna go follow them. Wait, hold on. August starts to argue. Sunny chimes in. Are you sure that's a good idea, Marshy? I want to know how it goes. They're both silent for a moment. Hmm. Okay, but we can't make it obvious. We won't. Now, come on. Okay. Where did they go? Be Okay, be cool, guys. Be cool. <laughs> Hello, clown. The clown around town. <laughs> be yeah, I'm so cool. I'm so cool. Where are they? Oh, wow, they got far. Where do they go? There's some tables over there. Are they over there? Are they? Wait, I think I might see them. Hold on. Hide behind the street. Hide behind the street. Okay, okay. Wait. You see a Dia talking with Alicia near Rai. And distance yourself and the other. And distance yourself and the others so that so that you're less likely to be noticed by one of them. You make sure to keep close enough that you can still hear their conversation. Which is a decent distance, given your giant ears. What are they saying? August asks, peeking out from behind you along with Sunny. Be quiet! You have e you have big ears too, use them! My ears aren't as big as yours. You shush him again before shifting your ears towards Dia and Alicia to listen in on their, on their conversation. It seems you weren't... You were able to catch them somewhere at the beginning of the beginning of the conversation. Alicia, I'm sorry, okay? Tia says. What I said was really stupid of me. Alicia stares at Tia, and then the corn dog that sh that was given to her. So you say you don't want to be my friend, then realize you didn't mean it that way, and now you're asking for forgiveness with the corn dog. Uh. Dia hesitates, realizing how stupid she must look. Yes. She admits. Oh, Dia. Oh, buddy. Oh, jeez. Alicia is silent. Okay, listen, Liz. Dia says. The reason I said I didn't want to be friends is because I... She pauses, taking a deep breath to calm her nerves a bit. Because I want to be more than that. Alicia looks up at Thea. Alicia, I... I still really like you. Why were you avoiding me then? I... I thought you wanted nothing to do with me. I thought the same thing about you. I always saw you with that angel and I thought... I thought you moved on from me. She looks away. The angel? Dia questions. She pauses to think about what Alicia said. Her eyes go wide with sudden realization. Wait, you... You thought I was dating Ravi? I mean, yeah, I... Alicia is cut off by Dia's sudden laughter. <laughs> no way! Ravi and I are just friends. I know that now. Dia calms down from her laughing fit and smiles at Alicia. The two of them sit in silence for a moment, and Dia's smile falters as she looks away. So... Is it too late for a second chance? She glances back at Alicia. Alicia's silent as she ponders the question. I think I still need some time. I'd like to be friends first. <laughs> I'll take that as a, 
I'll take that as a win. Dia smirks. Alicia giggles and holds out her hand to Dia. Dia smiles and takes Alicia's hand. The two of them turn to head back towards the festival. Yes! You pump your fist and cheer at the success of Dia and Alicia's relationship. They may just be friends for now, but at least they're happy. It's all you wanted in the end. You turn back to the others with a big smile on your face. Was it a happy ending? Sunny asks with her eye as her eyes sparkle with excitement. It was a happy ending! Yay! Sunny cheers. Oh, well, let's go back to the festival. Let's actually see how the others are hanging up. Or, or yeah, you know what I mean. Leon and all of them. I guess we can maybe check on Swan and Dan, but uh, if they're still arguing, I'd rather not deal with that. Okay. Well, this is exciting. This is actually so good. I I love this. Oh my god, this is the greatest. But Alyssa and Dee are friends again, and maybe if things go well, they'll be, they'll be together again. They'll be girlfriends. I'm gonna cry. They're still arguing. Oh my god. Don't look at them. Just ignore them. Ignoring. I will not let my vibes be crushed. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm in a fantastic mood. Walking back to Leon's shop, you see that it's slowed down tremendously. You see Leon in front of the stall, fiddling with a chain and some crystals. And, and one of the crystals. He looks up at you as you walk over to the shop. Oh hey, you're back! He looks, he looks at each of you and pauses as he sees Dia's missing. Uh, what happened to Dia? She's hanging out with Alicia. Sunny says with a smile. You notice Leon's eyes light up slightly. Really? He says. I honestly wasn't expecting them to get back together after the breakup. From how Dia worded it in her letters, it sounded rough. They talked it out and they're actually good now. I think they're taking things slow. That's good. I'm happy for her. What are we talking about? Ravi asks as he joins the group. Dia and Alyssia are back together, Leon explains. Ravi tenses up. Wait, what? They're so cute together, Sunny says with a big smile. No, they're not together, Ravi says in denial of the situation. They can't be. What? what? Why not? Because I... Ravi cuts himself off. Sunny looks at him curiously. Ravi, are you jealous? She asks innocently. No, I'm not! He snaps back. Leon leans over the counter towards Sunny. He's definitely jealous. Shut it, you! Ravi snaps at Leon. Leon laughs in response. I'm gonna kill you. Ravi growls at him. Please, I'd crush you in a fight. Leon smirks. You! Wait, hold on. Ravi! You liked Dia this whole time. Uh, you, how come you never said anything? Ravi pauses and manages to calm himself a bit. I don't know, he says. I guess a part of me already knew the answer. Dia still liked Alicia, so I didn't really stand a chance. He hesitates for a moment before con continuing. And admittedly, it's my fault they never really talked to each other after the breakup. Uh, what do you mean? <sighs> I was selfish and went out of my way to keep them separated, he admits. I guess it worked, but my guilty conscience held me back from telling Dia how I felt. Uh, uh, maybe you should apologize. I... Ravi hesitates. Leon steps in before Ravi can continue. Why don't we let this one slide for now, he says. Dia never knew that you, Dia never knew what you were doing. Telling her now might make things worse. I guess. Right now, we should be happy for her. Leon smiles. Uh, yeah. And don't worry, Robbie. I'm sure you'll find someone. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Robbie smiles slightly. <laughs> Thanks, Marshy, he says. I mean, August chimes in. 
You two seem pretty close. He gestures to Leon and Ravi. Why not? No. Leon says, absolutely not. Ravi agrees. Oh, fair enough. Oh, okay, shrugs. I'd rather just stay friends, Leon says. Besides, I'm not interested in relationships like that. And I'm not interested in him like that, Ravi says simply. Wow, way to put it bluntly. <laughs> you all laugh at the interaction. Seems the mood is lightened a bit. <sighs> Ravi sighs again, this time with a slight smile. I guess I'll have to wait a bit longer. As long as Dia's happy, I'm happy. And as long as you're happy, I'm sure Dia's happy. Ravi gives you another smile. <sighs> Thanks, Marshy. You return his smile. However, the moment is cut short as you hear a commotion nearby. Sounds like the others finally come back after their little adventure, if they even went on one. Well, I guess I should go back to the others. See you guys later.